Mr. Peabody, you're a Nobel Prize winning scientist, a world renowned explorer. You're sure you're capable of meeting all the challenges of raising a human boy? Given all that I've accomplished, how hard could it possibly be? Very well, then. Next year, the world's smartest dog will face his greatest challenge. No matter how far away I might seem. Bye, Mr. Peabody! Fatherhood. Mr. Peabody, Sherman got into a fight today. If the girl's parents press charges, I will see to it Sherman is removed from your custody permanently. Who's coming to dinner? You'll see. <gasps> I have to tell you, Peabody, where my daughter is concerned, nothing is more important than... Hello. Sure, I'll take a survey. She hates me. Ugh. Make it work. But don't tell her about the way back. He calls it the way back. It's a time machine. Wow. Now that we've seen it, maybe we should go back. Nope. Sherman, Penny, why are you two dressed like ancient Greeks. I lost her in ancient Egypt. And I got engaged to King Tut. Then we ran out of gas. In ancient Troy. You used the way back. Yeah. She was into it. Oh, my. You've used time travel improperly. We must rewrite history in order to save the universe. Ancient Egypt. Careful, Sherman. It's a booby trap. Take the wrong boat. Man will pay. Now it's your turn. The boat will also stay in a place. Oh, my. Run! Heroes of Greece. Yeah. Someone left this for us. A present. Nice. It looks just like our horse. <laughs> I did not see that coming. But if you close your eyes, it, it seems we've ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. Looks like the past is coming to us. King Tut. Penny. <laughs> DreamWorks, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Mr. Peabody! Hang on, Sherman! <laughs> well, Sherman, it looks like we were the butt of that joke. <laughs> I don't get it. 